How's it going everybody? I'm Ronald Jr. and today we're going to be talking about how I relic this pit guard for my relic series build and uh, it turned out pretty awesome. It looks a lot better in person than it does on film because the light and the camera doesn't pick up the the realness of it because if you've seen a vintage strap before you've seen real wear um, our local guitar store has one down the road and it, I'm I'm kind of going off of that with the wear and this picture right here from the Fender Custom Shop. So this is a hard tell though. Um, I am going to be making slight modifications. I'm not going to be like to the T like a, a certain year. I'm not trying to rip off a Fender guitar and make a, a fake Fender. I'm trying to make a Relic guitar, not a rip off guitar, a Relic guitar that is mine. And I don't have $5,000, but I do have you know $500. So. Why not make a relic guitar? So let's go over here to the bench and I'll show you the process that I do to get my pit guard to look like this. Now, before you even rub anything on this, you need to take a steel wool and steel wool the sheen off this. Now, as you can still, as you can see, mine still has a shine to it. That's because I use triple aught steel wool and it doesn't have a bunch of scratches in it and it doesn't look stupid, right? So. I use triple watt steel wool. I steel wool the whole thing until there's no more shine left. And then I take this, I dip it in here, and I just, you just rub it in. Kind of circular motion. A lot of people use shoe polish, uh, but the bad thing about shoe polish, it will actually come off. It's kind of aged. After you rub, that on you want to take a clean paper towel and just rub the excess off as you can see it's not coming off now if you do this right it will it won't come off just a little bit right that light really makes this pick guard look weird but we're getting like a true aged feeling i'm going to go around the edges a little bit more but what i like to do is take a little bit of rubbing alcohol I like to put some on my finger and I just like to because I know where I play my my I pinkies are about right here so just kind of rub this on my fingers just kind of make a kind of a mark there and kind of And that's about where my pinkies are. I'm trying to make this you know real as possible. Um, so that's about where my fingers rub. Now this won't come off. This you can rub this and it will not come off. Um, you have to use alcohol. So the best thing is if you mess up and you're not happy with what you have, you can take rubbing alcohol, rub it all off, start all over. Now what I do recommend is maybe putting a few uh, scratches in it here and there, uh, maybe up here where your pick is. But what you need to do is sit down with one of your guitars and see where your picking pattern is. Play different kind of music, get in the groove, see where you're touching, see where you're hitting, and then go off of that. Because we, we want the, the wear on the pick guard to match what you're doing. Because if not, it's just not gonna look right. It's not even gonna look like your guitar. Now, the reason why I take this off, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take it off. See, now you're gonna have a real hard line here. Okay, you just want to smooth all this in, take this, kind of go around with it. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to disappear, right? So, you just want to blend those edges in. As you can, as you can see, I blend those edges in, and like I said, I'm copying a guitar that I've seen, a reissue, and I got a picture of it online, and, uh, this is basically what you're going to get, right? So I think it looks pretty cool. I did do one more. I forgot to wipe that up. I did do one more swirl coat on the outside and on the top to give it that darker feeling. And you just kind of, when you blend those edges in on both sides, I go like that and it kind of just smears it in, right? So it gives it that vintage vibe. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and stick it on the body and show you guys what it looks like. 
All right, here's the body. So we got that on there. And this is what we're gonna be left with. You can try uh, shoe polish. You can try coffee. I mean, there's so many different ways you can do this. But this method here, it seems to be the best because it's stain for one. And two, it don't come off. That is the best method that I have found of relicking a pit guard. Now there's different ways to go about it and there's different methods, but this is the best that I've seen so far because it doesn't come off on your hands and it doesn't wear off. Um, it's kind of just stays there. Now you can get vintage style pit guards, but that's going to cost you a lot of money um, because any pit guard will fit on this body because for one, it hasn't been drilled for a pit guard yet. So you can use any pit guard that you want. Um, two, you can get on Reverb and get a Relic one for you for $50 to $60. Now, that's a lot of money. That pick guard cost me $14, $7 for the stain, and nothing but my time. So, I guess uh, this depends what you want to do. Um, you can do it yourself, save a little bit of money, or you can buy one. So, I'll leave that up to you. Like I said, it looks better in person. The camera can't catch what it really looks like, and the lighting, the LED lighting in the place kind of throws it off a little bit. But I think this guitar is going to be awesome. Don't judge a book by its cover yet because, you know, it's not done. There's still a lot of stuff that I got to do. So the pit guard and all that stuff is done. So I will see you guys next time.